Hello everybody, Dead and Broken here. I'm here to talk to you guys about setting up a rod. Now, setting up a rod is pretty much for all species here. This includes carp rods, everything. So what you want to do is, the key thing about creating a rod that works great and your levels and the wear wears evenly is matching. So, as you can see, I have um, the Big Ali 1410. Now, the line weight is what you want to pay attention to. And on the reels, the thing you want to pay attention to is the drag. Okay, so, the line weight. <clears throat> this is 6.5 to 19 pounds. Now, the number in here that is optimal that we need to pay attention to is the 19.5 pounds. So, that is the maximum weight you can put onto your fishing pole. So, you want to use that 19 pound test line you can even go up to 20 pound maybe 22 pound but you don't really want to exceed the line weight on the pole um, I would go no more than two pounds over I have a couple of fishing poles that do that the wear is is more than what an actual one would but it is okay it's not as bad as you think okay so as you can see, I have 20 pound here, 19 and a half pound. So that's, this works really good for me. It's a really good setup. Now the drag is 19.8. So <clears throat> we have a 19.8 and a 19.5. These are pretty much excellent. Your reel can always go bigger than what your rod is, but you kind of want to keep them close together. So, that being said, we also have this. Now, along with the pole, the line, and the reel, the other thing you want to pay attention to is the casting weight. So, this one says 3 to 6 ounce weights. And this is 3.5 ounce. This is always perfect. I always try to go the minimum of what the pole is because it, it, smaller fish can bite it and you'll see movement in your pole. All right, so a lot of people don't know what these are. I'm going to explain these. So the white, yellow, and the red indicate how strong the tip of your fishing rod is. White would be the lightest, so anything can pretty much move the tip. Medium, strength, and then this is, you know, a harder strength. I always run mine on white. Um, you know, like I said, I have that for all my rods. Same thing with my... Spinning rods, I have a 42 pound, 44 pound line, see two pounds over, 42 pound reel. Now, a lot of the times when you put on um, leaders, the leader, if it does not match the line, it has to, the, now the leader has to match the line. If the leader does not match the line, then you're going to have a weakness in the line. So either make it the same. 44 pounds or go over it 55 this does not affect anything it will not hurt your rod uh, but you never want your leader um, line weight to be underneath your fishing line well I think that'll be it um, that's pretty much how I build my fishing poles um, they work really good uh, I hope this helps you out have a good day